Hey y'all, what's happening? It is Jimmy G in the place to be. Welcome back to another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we give our first reactions, unboxings, and unbiased, unabashed opinions about anything pop culture related, mostly action figures and stuff like that. But if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thank you for continuing to come uh, back to this channel. Uh, so for those of y'all that are not back at this channel, keep coming back. Uh, so today we're going to talk about something awesome from the McFarlane verse because I got a new figure in a new figure day. It's new figure day. So we're going to talk about something really, really cool. Don't forget about the 500 giveaway that is still going on and you still have one day to get back into that August giveaway. And then we'll get into our September giveaway. Who knows what we're going to give away in September? Maybe I'll give you my credit card bill uh, that has uh, never mind. Uh, so let's go to my lab and see what we got. Now my lab is my table, not my dog. My dog is a basset hound. My lab is my table. So let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Get with me. Let's happen. Make it happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is, folks. It's so big. It takes up just about all my camera and my laboratory space. This little cramped space I call my lab. It is the McFarlane Justice Buster Mega Fig. Uh, as you know, it is probably, it is, not probably, it is Batman related. But this just came out from McFarlane Toys. For those of y'all that don't know what the Justice Buster is, this is Batman's final solution for the Justice League. Basically, he has built this thing to be able to take out the Justice League just in case they become bad. Uh, and if you look through the comic books, there's uh, like, I believe it's an end game uh, where he had to use it and he took out Wonder Woman and stuff like that, but it met its match with Superman. So some of y'all look at this and you go, this looks just like the Hulk Buster from Iron Man and the Avengers, but it is not. This is the Justice Buster. I know it's two billionaires that have too much money on their hands to uh, basically make stuff, but this is the DC version. You know, here's something I got about DC and about Gotham City. Why hasn't anyone just moved out of Gotham City? That that city, it just seems like it, all bad things happen. I mean, if I if I was living in Gotham, I'd be like, you know, it's time to leave uh, because everything bad happens in Gotham. But here we go. No, regardless, Justice Buster. So let's take a look at the front. There he is in his beautiful package. The side, more beautiful packaging. The back, look at that artwork. This thing looks intimidating. It almost looks like the uh, the RoboCop Ed, you know, uh, was it Ed 409 or Ed 209? 409, that's the cleaner. Uh, but it almost looks like Ed, you know, the, uh, the RoboCop monster or not monster, robot. But uh, there is that artwork looks very friggin' cool. Uh, what would make this thing awesome is if the light eyes lit up, but uh, I don't know, they don't. Uh, and then there is that, the top just right there. Got this at Amazon, it finally shipped and got it for like $37.99. And so that is it, this is in the box. There is no age, actually no, there is an age restriction. 12 plus, it says 12 plus. So if you're under 12, make sure you have your parents' supervision as you play with this. But regardless of that, let's get this thing out of the package. Let's do some posing. Let's do some comparisons. And let's give you my final thoughts about Justice Buster. Buster. Buster Rhymes. What? This thing is freaking crazy, man. This thing is freaking awesome. Uh, just taking him out of the package, just feeling the heft and all sorts of cool stuff. I am digging this figure. I know at first I was like, well, it's just an all gray figure, but you know what? I'm starting to lark this guy. So what you get with Justice Buster in the packaging, you do get the car, Justice Buster, Batman, Endgame, and the little, uh, basically, 
uh, data file project codename Fenrir. During the events of Endgame, the Joker infected Gotham City with the virus that turned the populace against Batman. The Justice League was among those infected with the codename Fenrir. Batman activated the Justice Buster to neutralize each member of the Justice League. Uh, the Justice Buster is designed for war with the most powerful heroes on the planet and equipped with all sorts of cool stuff. Like I said, Batman, Superman uh, made Batman meet his match in this, but Batman got the best of him by, believe it or not, listen to me, this is part of the plot, spitting kryptonite chewing gum in Superman's face. Batman has kryptonite chewing gum. How nerdy is that? You know, that's up there with bat shark repellent, right? Uh, but that's... That's the story. I'm not making it up. But you also get this. I have a feeling you don't need this for this figure. And then you get the figure itself. And so let me kind of just adjust my camera a little bit because we're going to bring this in for a closer look to see the details and the articulation and all the cool stuff. But man, this guy is so big. He is not going to fit in my camera here uh not in my camera but in my camera view so let's go with rotisserie style here and take a look at him look at the eyes the eyes is the only color on this guy he has blue eyes those deep deep blue eyes he is the mechanical gojo from jujitsu kaisen uh but there he is. Very, very cool. Look at that. I love the weathering on him and the weathering of that Batman logo is awesome. The plastic feels really, really good and the attention to details here. I bet with a little bit of wash, you can really, really make this guy look cool and do some real cool battle damage on him. But this looks friggin' amazing. And so uh, there he is from the front, from the side laying down. From the back, look at the jet but Look at those. Those are so cool. Man, I, I love first reactions because I'm just, I'm seeing stuff for the first time that you guys are seeing. So I have not seen any of this yet. And so this, this is friggin' awesome. Uh, so very, very cool from the butt, the back, whatever. Uh, and then the other side, the same. You got the bat logo right there. That is awesome. And uh, there's the top of him. Uh, right there and then um, there is the bottom right there with his feet like I said he looks kind of like Ed from Robocop and there is his belt the belt right there so let's do some articulation on this guy and so from the head you do have some spin you don't have a 360 but you have up and down movement side to side so you can do some kind of cool poses there the arms you do have uh, I, I don't know if you can see that. Let me move the camera down a little bit. So arm wise, you do have, it's on a kind of a ratchet there. It does come up like so. Uh, can you rotate? Nope, no rotation, but you got it coming up. You can't get it going back. You can get it going back that way. Got a little bit of a ratchet, but there's not a lot of kind of movement that you can do with the arm. Other arm, second verse, same as the first. Then the waist, you have a little bit of an ab crunch. You do have the 360 that you can do on it. That waist is a little bit loose on that. So hopefully that does not impact the posability of him. There he goes. Boom, 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 boom. We represent the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild. Uh, let's take a look at the legs. Let's stop with that silliness. Uh, the aren't the fingers, they aren't articulated. So what well, would have put this over the top? Articulate the fingers. That would be so, so cool if you could do that. Cause then you can have them holding stuff and all sorts of cool things, but the fingers are not articulated. Come on, come on. What's that to ask? Uh, there's like, well, that's probably another $20 on the cost there. So, uh, all right, well, I'll, I'll be okay with that. Legs, legs go out like so. Not a complete Jean-Claude, so he's not the most flexible guy in the world. Uh, but you do have... Why is this... Does it not want to go back? I have that, and then this does tilt. But, does it just not go back? No. Wow, 
wow, that's interesting. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. It's just ratcheted. I just gotta... Sometimes I'm just scared I'm gonna break a toy, you know? Uh, but you don't get all the way back movement because this kind of gets in the way right here. But you do have some. A uh, little bit of ankle tilt, not much. And then this part, nope, no movement there. Uh, so, but that, hmm. I'm wondering now. Yeah, you got a little bit there. Yeah, you can come back. Ratchet, ratchet. I love that sound. That is very cool. So that is about it for the articulation piece on him. You can tell that it's not a very articulate piece, but I mean, he's big and he's intimidating. And what else can you ask for, right? He is huge, huge. So what we're going to do, let's bring the camera down a little. Let's do some comparisons with some pipes to see kind of like his size compared to others. So we'll move him kind of to the side a little bit. And let's bring in our smallest figure that we have, contestant number one. He is hairy, he is brown, he is Chewbacca. There we go, Chewbacca. And then contestant number two, the next size, we have the McFarlane five inch is Zuku Midoriya, AKA Deku from My Hero Academia. Next figure we do have up is a Black Series. You all know him as a mysterious stranger that's a bounty hunter for hire who has the cutest little sidekick. Yes, you guessed it. It is Mando who is covered in mud. I hope it's mud and not something else. And then what we have next is we have Mr. Gojo. Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen, which is one of my favorite animes that are out there right now. And the man who is the brainchild behind the Justice Buster. Why don't you come on in? Come on down to the Tonight Show. We have the Nightfall Batman. He looks awesome and cool. And then Batman. We have an enemy of yours. Now, this is the Mari show. This isn't this the Springer show, so no fighting. Here he is, Victor Freeze. It's ice cold. Ice cold Victor. There we go. And last but not least, yes, we have a mega fig. It is also another robot, but this was made from a planet far, far away that has all sorts of robots. That is, again, to combat the Justice League. Here you have it, Fulcum Abominus. So there they all are. And if you want to see him with one of my favorite genres, and that is a Transformer, we have good old leader class, Grimlock, with nowhere to go, but behind them all. He's like, but I'm too short. I'm too short. Grimlock, you want to see how he looks compared to all the rest of them? There he is. There's Grimlock. And so slow pan around to this motley crew of people. There they are with Justice Buster. Justice Buster who can take out everybody. I don't know why I need to be quiet by Justice Buster. Because Justice Buster is bad to the bone. He is B.A. all the way. He will take you down to Chinatown for some good old Singapore noodles. And he will pick up the bill because it's by the billionaire, Bruce Wayne. So that is Justice Buster right there. Buster Rhymes, Buster Keaton. There he is. Uh, so really, really friggin' awesome looking figure. I mean, yeah. I, I like him. I do. There, you know, he got some of the soft plastic part right there. That'd be cool if that kind of moved. That would be kind of cool. Uh, the bat logo. I mean, that right there is awesome in itself. I would love a kind of like armored Batman with that bat logo right there. That would be friggin' amazing. And I think this could take out anything except for Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, come on. I want to take you out, Justice Buster. Get out of here. 
There we go. And some of you are like, no, these are collectibles. These are toys meant to be played with. They're my toys. I can play with them however I want to, except for you, Nightfall. Please stay good. Please stay awesome. There we go. But let's come back together for some of my final thoughts around Justice Buster. All right. We're back with Justice Buster. Let's bring him into the phone. Here he is, all busting justice of him. Justice Beaver, Justice Buster, whatever. Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, Justice Busta. Busta, Busta, Busta. I friggin' dig this figure. He is awesome. Look at that face. Those blue eyes, those are so cool. And then that logo alone just is friggin' amazing. Um, so pros about Justice Buster is the overall attention to detail on him. Even though he's just a one trick kind of color pony, he's just different shades of gray. Uh, just those two blue eyes just make that pop. But the weathering, and like I said, just with a little of that dry wash stuff, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a picture of it up above, will make this thing pop with some aging and some weathering. I would love to see the Justice Buster, but then some people will be like, oh, it's just a Hulk Buster, but for DC. I don't care, this thing's cool. This thing is awesome. Uh, so my cons about it is very limited articulation. I mean, it's not the most articulated thing. I'm not the most articulated thing either, uh, but it gets the job done. I think this is really cool. The other con, I wish these were posable. So that way you can put things in its hand and do different things too as well. That would just set this figure over the top if these were posable that I can just pose these things however I want to. Maybe a designer or a collector's edition version of this will come out, which will have that. But, I mean, just a phenomenal looking figure all around. I mean, that back just looks awesome. The feet, our feet, and like I said, this looks like something straight out of RoboCop. I'm telling you, this looks I just can't say enough good things about Justice Buster. I think he's really good. I think this one is a ballpark knocker outer. Uh, well, not necessarily. Maybe it's an infield home run, you know? Uh, there are a lot of great things to like about him, but then there are just a few nitpicky things that are there on it. You'll either love it or you'll hate it, right? That's what I've seen with a lot of the collecting community is like, I either love it or I hate it. Uh, so, but you know what they said in the interview, they hate us. But they hate us because they ain't us. They hate us because they ain't us. I, guess, I gotta be careful what I say. Uh, but this is a very cool figure. On a scale of good, bad, awesome, I would give this a justice busting awesome. I think it looks great. I think it looks really cool. I think it'd be an awesome addition to your collection. I know it's another Batman, and I know it's another Batman from McFarlane, but you know what? It's really cool. It's really cool. So get this. Stick it in your collection. Stick it where the sun doesn't shine. I don't care what you do with it. It's your toy. Do whatever pleases you. So with that, we will review something else awesome and amazing. Make sure you check out our other social media on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Love for you to kind of drop me a line with my email, jimmyg at the good, the bad, the awesome uh, Just tell me how you're doing, what you like, what you want to see, all sorts of good stuff, and I'll try to make that happen. But tune in next time for another amazing episode. So y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be justicely awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.